If you want to find out how Evening Primrose Oil can improve hair loss and improve hair growth, this is the video for you. We're going to look at what Evening Primrose Oil is, we're going to look at what the science is saying, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how you can't start using it as part of your hair care routine. So make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here. Welcome to the Hair God YouTube channel. On this channel, we do tons of science-backed YouTube videos all about how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. If you are new here, consider subscribing. In this video, you're going to learn about the latest scientific discoveries on using evening primrose oil for hair loss, so you can determine whether it's the right addition for your hair care routine. First, I'll explain what evening primrose oil is, its origins and its historical uses. Second, I'll dive into all of the studies that have investigated how effective the oil may be for hair growth. Thirdly, I'll out outline some potential side effects of use, as well as two main ways to use the oil you sell yourself. So let's get started. What is Evening Primrose? The oil, which is extracted from the seed, is considered to have therapeutic properties. In addition to the Evening Primrose's leaves and roots, the Native Americans have used the oil for a wide, for wide array of ailments, from minor wounds and bruises to gastrointestinal disorders and hemorrhoids. Evening primrose oil has a primary composition of essential fatty acids such as linoleic acid, gamma linoleic acid and glutamine. Linoleic acid is considered an essential omega-6 fatty acid as our body cannot produce the fatty acid itself. Omega-6 is necessary for human health and it plays a crucial role in cerebral and nerve functioning as well as growth and development of cells. In addition, Omega-6 maintains bone health, supports the reproductive system, regulates metabolism, and contributes to healthy hair. While there is currently limited evidence, evening primrose may show promise in counteracting different subtypes of alopecia, such as alopecia areata and effluvium telogen. It may also be effective in treating hair loss as a result of hypothyroidism or overactive thyroid. Evening primrose oil, in addition to stimulating healthy skin and hair, has strong anti-inflammatory and antioxidative properties that will nourish the scalp and deliver essential nutrients to promote growth. Now let's look at the hair growth benefits of evening primrose oil. Basically, hair growth has three main phases, anagen, catagen, and telogen. Anagen is the phase where the cells are rapidly dividing as new hairs are forming. The catagen phase is the transitional stage and this allows the attachment of the hair sheath to its respective hair root. And then finally, the telogen phase is the resting phase, and while there are no activities in this motion. This is the phase where hairs are naturally shedding and healthy individuals lose between 25 and 100 hair strands per day. Now, recent studies have indicated that evening primrose oil can indeed have a direct effect on hair follicles. In a study done by Monk Bio et al, the researchers took hair strands from healthy vol human volunteers between the ages of 20 and 50 years old and measured the effect of arachidonic acid on the elongation of the hair shaft, expression of growth and survival in vitro, or using isolated human cells. Meanwhile, the researchers applied a mixture of either a placebo, arachidonic acid, or minoxidil every day for four weeks on the shaved backs of female mice. These mice had just ended the telogen phase and they were undergoing the anagen phase of growth. The anagen hairs were then examined 28 days later. Multiple results showed to be very positive. The cells in the dermal papilla were more viable for up to 2 units of arachidonic acid before decreasing significantly with increased dosage. There was an increase in fibroblast growth factors and other molecules that stimulate hair production and survival. In addition, the hair shaft resulted in significant elongation at a moderate dose of arachidonic acid. Meanwhile, the mice that had the arachidonic acid application on their back grew more hair at a faster rate than the mice in placebo or minoxidil groups. The dermal papilla, which is located in the hair follicle's bulb, is composed of cells that help regulate keratin. Keratin is a protein commonly known for building healthy hair and skin. The researchers postulated that the arachidonic acid activated special growth factors that encourage the multiplication and maintenance of these keratin cells during the anagen phase of growth. Arachidonic acid also appears to trigger multiple signals that affect a variety of cell functions. Specifically, important molecular factors for preventing cell death, aka apoptosis or necrosis, are triggered and activated to help promote the survival of growing and existing hair cells. In addition, 
arachidonic acid appears to also induce antigen phase. It also extends the duration of the stage, resulting in more cell division before it settles into the catagen phase. All this not only contributes to ample growth of hair, but also stronger and thicker hair strands. But where does evening primrose oil come in? Well, linoleic acid in evening primrose oil is a precursor to arachidonic acid. Your body can take linoleic acid and synthesize it in the liver to eventually become arachidonic acid. However, it is important to note that based on the result of this study, mild to moderate amount of arachidonic acid will reap the most benefit. Too much will be counterproductive and may induce adverse inflammatory responses. Also, there are benefits of evening primrose oil on scalp inflammation. Inflammation is a natural defense response to our body of our body to harmful stimuli such as injury to the tissues or allergies. However, uncontrolled inflammatory response is the source of a vast continuum of crippling disorders related to metabolic syndromes, autoimmune and cancer. In individuals with chronic hair loss, unnatural accumulation of substances such as free radicals, DHT and bacteria in the scalp region ignites an inflammatory response from the body. The symptoms of inflammation, such as itchiness and dryness, will damage the follicles and its respective strands, and this will ultimately lead to chronic hair loss, which may become irreversible. Early studies have postulated that the polyunsaturated fatty acids in the evening primrose oil could be the main derivatives for inflammatory relief. In this one study, Senapati and his team of dermatologists enlisted young patients with atopic dermatitis and separated them into two groups one taking 500mg of evening primrose oil and the other taking 300mg of sunflower oil. After 5 months of continual usage, the researchers compared the results and found that 96% of the evening primrose oil users showed substantial improvements, in contrast to only 32% of sunflower oil users. Like earlier studies, the researchers supports the theory that the lack of omega-6 fatty acids plays a role in inducing inflammation. However, they further refine this theory by suggesting that it is not necessarily the lack of linoleic acid that is the source of inflammatory aggravation, but more likely the reduced conversion to gamma linoleic acid that is the more likely culprit. While the science community has conflicting views, the reduced production of gamma linoleic acid may be contributing to an increased likelihood of inflammation. This is primarily because gamma linoleic acid can convert to dihomo gamma linoleic acid or DGLA which has been shown to fight against specific pro-inflammatory mediators. Another suggestion for the evening primrose's anti-inflammatory effects could be related to its sterile qualities. Sterile is a subtype of lipid cholesterol and sex hormone, falls also into this category. But well, evening primrose oil has a high composition of phytosterol or plant sterile. This sterile is naturally found in plant-based foods such as grain, vegetable, fruits and nuts. Plant sterile is well known for its cholesterol lowering effects, which is correlated with reduced inflammation. A common belief for this phenomenon is due to its similar chemical composition of plant sterile and cholesterol. When there is too much LDL, or bad cholesterol, it will seep into the walls of the artery and damage the lining by forming plaque. This will instigate an inflammatory response which only worsens as an accumulation of cholesterol further aggravates the site. Because plant sterol has a similar structure to LDL, it will act directly to block LDL's absorption. In fact, a study where people drank sterile fortified juice found that in two weeks alone, their LDL cholesterol levels dropped at an average of 12.4%. Paz et al. suggested an additional theory for plant sterol's effects on inflammation by focusing on the mediators. In their study, the largest composition of plant sterol from the evening primrose oil beta citosterol and campesterol were extracted and cultured with micelles. The researchers took several inflammatory markers such as macrophages, nitric oxide and prostaglandins and tested each of them with 25, 50 and 100 grams per milliliter of sterile in the cell structure. The results have found that a number of inflammatory markers were notably reduced with many of them to a significant degree. For example, the reduction of nitric oxide, or NO, which plays a key role in inflammatory and immune reaction activities, was at its greatest in the 100 grams per milliliter of plant sterile culture. In addition, the researchers postulate that the plant sterile helped prevent linoleic acid from converting into polyunsaturated omega-6 chemical arachidonic acid. 
Though, we mentioned above that it could directly help with hair growth, an excessive amount of this particular omega-6 fatty acid has been thought to initiate and amplify inflammatory reactions. This will only counteract the potential benefits that arachidonic acid can have on the process. And finally, we're going to look at evening primrose oil and its effects with antioxidants and vitamin E. Well, free radicals attack important molecules, leading to cell damage and disruption. Targets of free radicals include all kinds of molecules in the body, such as lipids and proteins. Once a cascade of cell damages has erupted within a site, such as at the scalp, the body will initiate an inflammatory response to stop the damage and start repairing the cells. However, chronic inflammation will ensue if the free radicals are not dealt with properly. Early studies have postulated that chronic hair loss may be attributed to unmanageable free radicals and lower levels of antioxidants in the scalp area, leading to high oxidative stress. Antioxidants prevent free radicals from causing damages by donating one of their own electrons. There are likely thousands of different antioxidants to manage different subsets of free radicals. Among the many antioxidants in the evening primrose oil, one of the more abundant is vitamin E. Vitamin E is a fat-soluble antioxidant known for its ability to build and repair tissues. Vitamin E is also a potent radical scavenging antioxidant that is most well known for acting as an inhibitor for lipid peroxidation or degradation uh, to the lipid caused by free radicals. To demonstrate vitamin E's correlation with her preventing hair loss, researchers Bio et al. took 38 healthy male and female with varying levels of alopecia and they were split into either taking a placebo supplement or a supplement that was a member of the vitamin E family for 8 months at a total of 100 mg a day. Hair count and weight of the hair were collected and measured and the results showed that the hair numbers at the 8 month interval were significantly greater than those at baseline and at the 4 month interval for the vitamin E group. So how can you actually start using evening primrose oil? Well, there are two ways you can go about adding evening primrose oil to your daily hair care routine. The first is as a supplement, and it, it can be taken as an oral supplement. It is sold in capsule or gel form, and each capsule generally contains 1000 mg. Talk to your doctor about the best dosage based on your current circumstances. Also, you could use it as a topical application. One of the more effective methods of utilizing evening primrose oil is directly applying it to the scalp. It can better penetrate the pores and deeply nourishes the hair and its follicles. You can have it deep conditioned by leaving it overnight on the scalp and washing it off in the morning. For an even more effective use of the oil, you can also combine it with scalp stimulation techniques such as massage and microneedling. Both massage and microneedling work to increase blood flow to the scalp while simultaneously reducing inflammation and both of these techniques have been proven to have positive effects on hair growth in those with male pattern baldness. And what about the potential risks and side effects? Though the oil does not contain many side effects, it may interact negatively with certain medications. According to the National Institute of Health, you should use with caution if you are taking anticoagulant and antiplatelet medications, simvastatin and niacin, or doing any kind of chemotherapy and radiation. Now, if you are pregnant or nursing, it's best to speak with your obstetrician before using or continuing evening primrose. If you suffer from any chronic medical conditions or if you are taking medications not mentioned above, it is also a good idea to consult with your physician before you begin supplementation. Now, as with any natural hair loss treatment, evening primrose is not a cure rule for hairline recession and balding. Though its various beneficial properties as a result of its high essential fatty acid content may contribute to lessening hair loss and perhaps even promoting regrowth. This is especially true when the oil is combined with a scientifically proven technique such as massage and microneedling. But the truth is, the best way to treat hair loss is by addressing the underlying issue. This will vary from person to person and it may be necessary to consult with a dermatologist to learn the true cause for the problem. That's what we want to share with you today on Evening Primrose Oil. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.